Happy Tuesday. Super Bowl week here in Atlanta. Uh, behind me we've got Mercedes-Benz Stadium all decorated up for Super Bowl 53. Uh, it's going to cause um, a lot of, uh, I think, traffic tie-ups here in Atlanta. We've also perhaps got some uh, ice and snow coming in. So I hope the folks who are watching this who are in our downtown and metro area, just make sure you check with your supervisors to make sure we've got everything covered in terms of your being able to get to where you need to be. Um, speaking of Super Bowl 53, of course it's a huge event. Uh, it brings you know thousands and thousands of people to Atlanta, but it also brings a significant danger of increased mi uh, domestic minor sex trafficking. Um, if you have any suspicions of, uh, you see a person who may be a victim, you see something suspicious, please say something. You can always call Georgia Cares, which is, uh, we have a number for you, one 8448GADMST and of course 911 if it's an emergency. But we all need to be very aware of the dangers to of, of sex trafficking during this uh, big event apparently uh, in Super Bowls and World Cups in past years this has been a significant issue. Um, I want to thank Xavier Walker who uh, won our uh, our little contest to try to get as many likes and shares as you could on your social media page advertising our event. Uh, Xavier is down a social super, super, supervisor down in Lowndes County and we'll uh, be getting a gift card out to you real soon. So thank you all for participating in that effort. I um, also want to kind of talk a little bit today about the budget. Um, the governor's budget was unveiled, unveiled this past week and quite frankly it's uh, I think very generous to us. Um, we're going to be getting about an additional 7.1% in the coming in this year and the coming 2020 fiscal year for additional out-of-home care services. Um, that's about $9.9 .9 million in each year, which is significant. Uh, we're also getting significant funds to help us implement Family First. Uh, first of all, money to upgrade shines we'll need, uh, but also funds to help us put together a team to lead the implementation effort, uh, work with our provider partners. Um, and then on the, some other interesting things we got going on, we're getting some extra staff to help us monitor our contracts, make sure we're getting good quality services, and also a team to follow up on closed cases to really improve our quality. So uh, we've, we've been very fortunate this year in terms of the state tax revenues and where uh, the governor has been kind enough to offer us additional funds to help with these issues. Um, I think uh, it's also important to note that um, the government, uh, the federal government rather, has uh, shut down as over for now. Um, we still don't at this moment on, uh, have real firm direction about the March benefits, but I'm, I think we're all breathing a sigh of relief here. Um, and I think we'll, we'll certainly uh, be able to continue our food stamp work. Uh, in terms of food stamps and our, and our SNAP, remember uh, John Anderson has asked us all to please try to give a high five or a low five. High five on timeliness and a low five on, uh, on accuracy. So we would really need during 2019 to get the food stamp error rate down to 4% or below so that we don't get into hot water with the federal government. So I, pre I know we can do it. I appreciate your help on that. Uh, it's going to be a great week. Um, hope you all enjoy it. And uh, please always e email me at talkwithtom at dhs.ga.gov if you have any questions or concerns or if I can be of any assistance. Thank you for all you do.